Good morning everybody and welcome to Health Talk. I am your host Dr. Niru Prasad with my background in pediatrics and emergency medicine affiliated with Henry Ford Health System, St. Joe Oakland and Bowman. The theme of my health talk today is very interesting. It is a senior citizen winter health safety. I have prepared several slides on this topic that I would like to share with all of you. And, uh, and I will start with the I will start with my slide presentation and then later on I will just give a few last minute safety tips for our for our viewers. So a good healthy life it is a blessing from God. However, we have put in our efforts to live a long, healthy and happy life in body, mind and spirit as we are aging. Here are a few tips to follow for everybody. Eat a healthy diet, stay socially active, exercise and yoga, and routine health check and immunization, which is a very important aspect of life, and think positive. Second slide, please. So this as we as we get older there are so many things happening in our body like like you know there are social and physical changes that increases the vulnerability of of substance abuse and on the loss of balance and everything so old age however the older age group we are unable to metabolize most of the most of the medicine drugs alcohol from our body so considering those facts in mind i i prepared the common relevant topics number 1 is the preventing falls in elderly fall is number one cause of death in our elderly population because what happens when we fall bones are brittle there is hip hip fractures brain injuries and more what are the major causes of fall include loss of balance because of the poor muscle control the dizziness due to the several medications arrhythmias that is irregular heart rate or simple sleep or trips. The, now recently the post pandemic area there has been an increase in the poor health due to lack of mobility, due to the missing doctor's visits, depressions, loneliness and increased substance abuse. Next slide please. So, what are the safety tips? First, avoid sleeping on ice to prevent major falls. We wear loose layered clothes, light, loose, and remember 3L, light, loose, and layered. Fight yourself against the winter related depressions because the days are short, there is lack of sunshine, evenings are longer and dark and that raises more in our body the seasonal affective disorder which I am going to come later on. Keep your home well heated, get it checked for gas, carbon monoxide poisoning. Very important to get a regular physician checkup, stay updated with your vaccination, eat well balanced diet supplemented by exercise and yoga. Next slide please. So also you should always listen to the weather. Very important to listen to the weather because cold weather, wintery storms, you do not want to start driving going to some destination. Always keep a first aid kit in your car. We are a safe emergency bracelet for emergency contact if you are home alone or if you are driving someplace. Next slide please. 
So, what are the major, now I am going to talk about what are the major cold related illnesses of concern during each frigid winter, winter related depressions, hypothermia and other body temperature related ailment that is caused, caused by the cold. Next slide please. So, what are the holiday blues, seasonal affective disorder? This is a time of uh, holidays, Christmas, New Year's and holiday seasons is usually a, a time to joy and celebration. However, a recent poll by American Psychiatry Association says that seniors are five times more likely to experience sadness, anxiety due to loss of job or missing loved ones. Furthermore, a recent CNN report reported reports that predicted elderly are drinking more alcohol and overdosing themselves with the, with the fentanyl laced street drugs. And at the end of my talk, I will, I will give you all the referrals. All I will give you a bibliography where from where my from where I have gathered my sources while I was preparing my slides. Next slide, please. So persistence of these symptoms during winter months leads to a condition called seasonal affective disorder. Persistence of extended holiday blues is seasonal affective disorder which is defined as a period of sadness, depression, anxiety during fall and winter month. However, gradually it subsides. Good thing about it is that it subsides during spring and some, summer. The symptoms include anxiety, restlessness, lack of sleep, reduced social interaction, being loneliness and unability to work. The good part of it is that symptoms, these get better as the weather improves and they get more and more sunlight. The days will get bigger, plus more people, they will be able to interact. Now, next slide, please. So what is the treatment regime? How do you treat this? A thorough evaluation of sudden affective, seasonal affective disorder includes a good physical evaluation, ask, asking in depth the questions about mental health question, regular checkup by your physicians, followed by a, by a blood work and metabolic profiles to rule out thyroid disease, hypertension or diabetes. A psychological evaluation, but mental health personnel also is very, very beneficial. So, what are the treatments? The treatments a general good health care based up of diet, exercise, yoga, proper clothing, safety against fall. The treatment also includes a light therapy, psychotherapy and the medication. Light therapy helps with overcoming depression during winter blues and they are described in details in my bibliography. Light therapy is one of the first line of treatment where you sit with a few feet away from the light box during morning hours and it causes a change in the brain chemicals to improve your mood. Psychotherapy, also known as the cognitive behavioral therapy, it helps in identify your negative thoughts and how to manage stress. Medications include antidepressant for severe symptoms of depression and extended release antidepressant like Welbuterin and its uh, other and its other forms. These are to be to be prescribed by the by the psychiatrist. Next slide. <coughs> So what is, now I'm going to go about, now I'm going to talk about the hypothermia because cold weather and you get sick. Hypothermia, what happens in hypothermia? Hypothermia is caused by a prolonged exposure to very cold temperature, 
causing the body to lose heat faster, such as in the hikers riding mountain during cold weather, elderly who have poor body circulation, inadequate heat at home and the homeless. The symptoms include shivering, mental confusion, slurred speech and drowsiness. The immediate treatment of hypothermia, if you see somebody, is getting the person to a warm area, remove wet clothing, gentle warming the core area of the body, such as neck, head, chest, groin area, and cover with the warm sheets. Next slide, please. So, so what are the, the different kinds? hypothermia, when the body starts losing heat faster, there is a frostbite. There is a wonderful, excellent picture of frostbite that happens when your feet is submerged in the snow for a prolonged exposure, such as in ice water. Normal feet looks like this and versus the frostbite. Next slide, please. So it is a decrease. What is hypothermia again? It is a decrease in the core temperature to a level at which normal muscle and brain activities are impaired. The fall in cold core body temperature is due to diminished body metabolism. Clinical features are again shivering, pallor due to poor circulation, mental confusion, sluggish body response, slurred speech and irrational behavior. Severe hypothermia, the core temperature drops below 92 degree. This is a life-threatening emergency that and can include violent shiver, shivering, falling, pale skin, muscle rigidity, rigidity, bradycardia, and dilated people. And this 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 condition is very serious and it needs people ne and the victim needs to be transferred to the emergency room. Next slide, next slide, please. Okay, the, now the superficial, there are mild conditions of hypothermia like frost nip, and that, that is what happens is the freezing of the superficial layer of the skin. This occurs like on ear lobes, cheeks, fingertips, and toe. This is managed by gentle rewarming by, by blowing warm air or against a warm body. But however, the, the key point is do not rub the affected area because by rubbing the affected area, you are increasing more damage to the skin. Left, next slide, please. So substance abuse and alcohol. This is something very interesting that recently I, I heard and I read several relevant articles about from the CNN. There has been a rise in alcohol drinking as well as use of painkillers among our um, uh, among our senior citizens, as mentioned by CNN and CDC. The clinical features of this includes fall, again loss of balance use of multiple drug prescription as well non-prescription. On the top of it, drinking too much alcohol that can even worsen the existing health conditions such as osteoporosis, liver damage, high blood pressure, diabetes, immune system disorder, and memory loss. When combined with the drugs, the alcohol can be potentially life-threatening for already immunocompromised individual. Next slide, please. So in conclusion, the winter-related illnesses can also include, this is very simple things that I have mentioned besides all this, like common cold, flu, pneumonia, and bronchitis. Unfortunately, Many of these illnesses can merge with the different strains of COVID-19. So we have to take extra precaution to make sure that you are vaccinated. Also, wearing masks in, 
in the crowds helps a lot against this common cold and flu. This year the flu is going to be more more dangerous because the, it, because it's a combination of three groups of viruses like H flu, COVID-19 and more. And so people have to take extra extra precautions and make sure you are properly vaccinated. And remember, spring is the fountain of love for thirsty winter. And we want everybody to have a, have a very good, safe winter and upcoming spring and also happy holidays to all of you. And these are the citations that I, I gathered my information from. And at the end, end of the day, I like to thank our viewers for watching me on this show. And this is about the winter related injuries among our, our citizens past 50 and over. And uh, until I see, uh, see you again, have a safe and a wonderful holidays. Thank you again.